All right, it's 11 o'clock and um, welcome everyone to the Committee on Public Services. Madam Clerk, could you call the roll? Commissioner Varga. Here. Commissioner Palomero. Here. Commissioner Kenlock. Present. Commissioner Hattis. Present. Commissioner Baydoun. Here. Commissioner Dobb. Here. Chairman Reiki. Here. Double quorum present. Um, okay, oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading uh, text here. Yes, thank you, uh, next item. Be chairwoman's remarks. Okay, the, the only remarks I have, if, if you haven't heard, we're gonna start with the last item on the agenda today, and we'll make that the first uh, um, item. That's the only remarks I have. Next item. C, approval of the January 25th, 2022 meeting minutes. Okay. So move. Okay, we have an approval and a support, support. I believe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, any questions on this? Any comments? I'll call it. Okay, all those in favor of approving last meeting agenda Aye. minute or meeting minutes? Say Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? Aye. Any abstentions? Motion passes. Okay, next item. Would you like to move the unfinished business item before the discussion? No, actually, because that is the unfinished business item is actually on the agenda this week. So why don't we just go right to the last, the discussion on the agenda? Yep, number 14. Go ahead, Madam Clerk. Item 14, a discussion regarding the Sibley Road Improvement Project with HS Commerce 275 to LLC. Okay, I know we have people on and um, we will start with- Madame the Chair. Yes. Madame, yes. before we start, I'd like to introduce the supervisor of Huron Township, uh, David Clay. Great. You know what? Hold, hold on, Commissioner. One, one thing. I just want to make note. This is just a discussion item. We right. won't be, I mean, this is for our whole committee. We won't be giving any recommendation to put this forward to a committee. I just want everybody I, to know. I do understand that. Yep. But go the, ahead. No, go uh, ahead. Uh, yes, the go president ahead. of the uh, supervisor of the township, David Glade, with us yep. today. And Danny Sampson, so from the uh, development company uh, with us today. And they both work very hard on that issue. Uh, that really, it's a project that only uh, enhanced the whole region, not only here on township. It's going to have economic development effect uh, on, on the region. And uh, I hope the discussion uh, it's going to show that the administration worked very hard on it too. Uh, my thanks go to the CEO and Kalira Hall, uh, and I hope uh, that today we're going to put light on the importance of this project. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Hedas, and welcome, everyone. Um, I think Khalil is going to start this out. Hey, Madam Chair, thank you, and thank you to the rest of the board members. I'm actually going to shoot it over to Jim Jernigan um, to kind of talk about it through the agreement, but I'll just give... A high level overview. I mean, I think the commissioner hit it best. You know, Pinnacle has been, um, you know, what a dramatic turnaround, not just for here on Township, but really for the entire region in, in Aerotropolis. I will tell you that ever since we sort of pulled off that miracle, um, you know, what we have seen around the airport, what we have seen in Western Wayne County is a flood of new development. And so we have really raised the waters, especially in making the area much more competitive in this space. And I, and I really do think that uh, Pinnacle was the, the starting point of all that. And so what I'd, what I'd like to do is, is send it over to Jim. Jim's gonna walk you through this agreement. Um, the township supervisor is here. Um, and, and I think he has some words to talk about how this is important for his township. Um, the developers are here to answer any questions that you all have. I think it might be good if you all kind of learned um, maybe the specifics of what has happened at Pinnacle already, what we have planned for the future, um, and how I think this will benefit the entire region. So, Jim, why don't you take it from here? 
Sure. Thanks, Khalil. Good morning, everybody. Jim Jernigan, uh, Assistant Corporation Counsel for the administration. This is a, uh, a contract that's, uh, that's been worked on over the course of the last few months um, with the developer where we have been able to uh, try to pinpoint as closely as possible the, the total costs that uh, this uh, upgrade to Sibley Road will entail. It's approximately 7,000 linear feet of upgrade, including uh, uh, upgrading the, the, the road to a class A road, insertion of a boulevard, uh, associated infrastructure, as well as uh, upgrading uh, to, with uh, uh, new traffic control devices. The uh, total estimate as it stands right now is $10.9 million, of which the developer um, is contributing 2.7 million. Um, the developer is required to deposit half of that 2.7 million within 90 days of uh, approval of this agreement, and then the other half by the end of the year. So uh, I think that, that that definitely proves that this developer has um, more than a little bit of skin in this game to, to uh, be willing to contribute a, a, a sizable sum in addition to having paid for the uh, preliminary engineering that was done um, up to this point by Spalding D. Decker. So um, the agreement uh, provides that the money that will be spent is going to be spent uh, evenly between the uh, county and the developer so that when the county spends a dollar, the developer spends a dollar until the uh, developer's uh, uh, funds are expended. Um, at which point obviously we'll be well, well into the project. So the county will ultimately be in charge of letting the work um, and, and will be in charge of the construction, airing, construction engineering aspect of the work. And um, uh, really that's, that's the, I know that that commission staff had submitted some questions and I hope that those were, were answered adequately. Um, to the extent that uh, um, that Mr. Glabe or, or the developer wish to say anything, uh, um, I'm, I'm happy to have them uh, talk. This is a uh, three-year agreement with two additional one-year extensions at the option of the county. Um, and uh, really that's, uh, that's the, the, the nuts and bolts of the agreement. Madam, the chair, to this yes. point. Uh, would be very important to mention too that Sibley Road, uh, it's zone for retail. So there are too many good reason why that project is important to the whole region. Sure. If, uh, if Chairwoman Recky would entertain uh, some comments, uh, I'm David Glabe here on Town yeah, Supervisor. And I want, to, I want to thank this committee for the opportunity to speak uh, with you this morning and, and just to discuss this, this very exciting project. Uh, this, this subcommittee is, uh, is no stranger to the exciting development that's going on in this general region, um, often referred to as the pinnacle area. Uh, over the last several years, we've had some substantial development occur, and in large part because of the cooperation of this committee and the entire full Wayne County Commission, and um, the hard work with our Commissioner Al Haddis and, and Director Watts and, and, and at Khalil, there's been a lot of hard work and energy poured into this area, and it's really starting to produce dividends. There's tremendous amount of economic uh, development occurring. You may recall, we now have two new Amazon facilities that employ over a thousand people. Uh, well over a, a million square feet of warehouse space there. Uh, we have the Home Depot uh, warehouse project slated um, as part of this new development and just continuous um, opportunities, uh, both uh, along uh, the way the Sibley uh, corridor, which as Commissioner Hatt has pointed out uh, with this development would, would improve uh, this particular roadway and create a nice economic uh, corridor where uh, substantial retail can occur right there at 275 in Sibley and, and support the additional development that will occur uh, to the north uh, toward the airport in Rhymeless. So just tremendous opportunities. And uh, this is something that, although uh, is um, new to recent discussions, is, isn't an old proposition at all. In fact, this, this particular improvement goes back uh, well to say 2008 where this um, improvement was proposed. So uh, 
it's exciting to finally see we're at a point where we're trying to uh, to, to get this uh, into fruition. And uh, not only is this a tremendous uh, opportunity for Huron Township, but this is uh, really uh, kind of the uh, gateway, if you will, into Wayne County and, and demonstrates a lot of the economic opportunities that are developing in our region, specifically in Southern Wayne County. So uh, this is a very important uh, agreement for the township. And um, this improvement to Sibley Road was, it was integral and very central to the overall rezoning of this area as well. So looking toward the future and, and the township taking steps to rezone for particular uses uh, was contingent and dependent on these improvements uh, with Sibley Road. So uh, with that, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I, again, just wanna thank the committee for entertaining some thoughts and looking forward to um, having a positive outcome with this project. Thank you. Great, thank you. I think it's a, a great project, especially where it's located. It's like perfect location for all this. Um, Khalil, can I go to Director Watts here if she has any comments? I think that's Yes, you may, yes. Okay. Uh, good morning, uh, Madam Chair and everyone. Again, uh, from the DPS perspective, we too are, are, are pleased to be a part of this very huge, significant project for the region. Um, we were ecstatic for our road. I wanna really give special thanks to NMESH and our engineers who really had to look at this road and see how we can could make it work to support this project with Khalil and his department, EDC, and to Township and the developer uh, and find the funding. So I just wanted to say we are pleased with this project and to be a partner in this because this is gonna be significant. Uh, as Commissioner Haddis says, it's not just for Huron Township, which is great, but a whole region and the opportunities that everything could bring as it relates to retail, jobs and everything that comes with it. So these are the projects for DPS we look to do throughout the county, but we're very pleased uh, to be here at this point today for this project. It's been a long time coming. Thank you. Thank you. And the reason um, it is for discussion today is because our staff, they do have some questions that haven't been answered yet, but I'm, I'm uh, confident that will, that will happen in the near future. I just have a question right now. Wh where is this money coming from? This pretty significant amount of money I be besides the developer. I mean, where's the Wayne County money coming from? Yeah, of course, for our, for our roads and DPS, any road improvement we have is going to come from two pots, either Act 51 or it's going to come from the federal government, uh, which is through MDOT. So this money is coming from Act 51 funding, which is exactly what it's supposed to do, improve a road. So we're pleased to be a partner. Okay, so will any of this funding, it's pretty significant, take away from any other projects that are already slated to go? Another Great area. question. Yeah, not at all. And we want to make sure that in order to be a part of this significant project, we didn't want to take away from any other projects that was planned. So no, we did not push off any projects to make this project occur. Okay, before we go to the um, the commissioners, does anybody else, uh, Clil, do you want to say anything else or anyone that you've invited want to say anything else? You know, it might be good to just hear from the developers. I, I think it what would be important is for you all to maybe get a glimpse of the specific impact that's happened at Pinnacle uh, with the two buildings that's gone up and, you know, with the new building that they have planned as a direct result of this road fund. Okay, so the developers are... Hi, my name is Ellie Torgo. Oh, there you the go. Developers. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us, Madam Chair. And uh, commissioners are very appreciative. Actually, uh, we first want to start by thanking everybody for having us today and for the confidence that you showed in us two years ago when we bought the Pinnacle site. Um, it was in 2019 that you proved the sale to us. And since then, in, in the two years, we've been very blessed. We've developed about 1.2 million square feet of buildings. We've created about 1,000 jobs and spent about $220 million of, of, of our money, you know, investing in, in the Pinnacle area. We've developed, uh, we've put in about, a, we, we've redeveloped about a mile of Prescott and now it's become a class A road. We've created a great stormwater management program. And as part of this uh, discussion, we're here to talk about another building, which is about another half a million square feet for Home Depot, which would be another $80 million of investment another 250 jobs. So all told, um, 
because of the confidence you had in us and the partnership we have with you, um, there'll be about $300 million of investment, about 1,250 jobs, and about uh, 1.7 million square feet of buildings. So we're, we're, we're very appreciative of, of the partnership and the confidence you've had in us and for, for uh, having us here today. I think as Supervisor Glaive, who's been a great partner for us as well, mentioned that, you know, here on Township has, you know, take the pinnacle for many years, there was nothing there. And now we're talking about 1.7 million square feet of industrial. And so it's become extremely important to the township that Sibley Road continue to become what it was supposed to, which is a retail corridor, not, a, not necessarily a truck pass through. And that's sort of why we're here having this discussion. And we believe in it. We're ready to, you know, we're, we're obviously participating with the county. Obviously, we're so appreciative for what the county is doing and the commissioners. And we're, we're participating to the tune of th almost $3 million because we believe in it. And we think this is a, a great opportunity for the region. I think Sibley Road, as many people before me have mentioned, is not just in Huron Township, but it's a gateway for Wayne County and for all the region. And... Um, we're very appreciative for the opportunity to be before you today and for what you've allowed us to do in the area. And we're here to answer any questions. I'm joined with uh, Greg Skovich, our partner from Hillwood and Danny Sampson, a, a chief development officer in Sterling with myself. So we're here to answer any questions and we very much appreciate the discussion today. Madam Chair? Yes. To Who's... speak, uh, Commissioner Kenlock. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Commissioner. To speak to how beneficial this is for the region, um, for those who absolutely should not have forgotten how this project and how this area and, and, and interests um, came about, um, it, was, it, it went beyond uh, just being vacant land. Uh, it was a concept and in this area that came from previous administrations, a lot of waste of money, uh, a lot of embarrassment, and to see where this a development has come, uh, how far it's come, and the commitment that's coming. Uh, it, this is absolutely a benefit uh, for the region. Um, and also it is a true, true um, turnaround and show that when great minds and great talents come together, because it, it wasn't that long ago um, from those of us who remember where this area and this particular um, project um, area as cited by uh, previous uh, uh, administrations was a total embarrassment. So I wholeheartedly um, support this and look forward to seeing it uh, to completion. This is a great partnership and um, I'm, I'm very happy to hear this this morning. You know, Madam Chair, uh, you know, yes, sometimes I forget, you know, Commissioner Kenlock, who, you know, was a former member of our Brownfield Authority um, mm -hmm. and has a great memory, as you can see. Sometimes I forget that people, um, maybe a little bit of a history lesson to show why investment in this area benefits the entire county, not just from a development standpoint, but just from a debt service standpoint, um, which is what I think he is really highlighting that I maybe have forgotten to say. If we all recall, we put in and we took out $28 million of bonds to put infrastructure into this area and created a brownfield tiff through the brownfield authority uh and you know development in that area the taxes get captured to help pay down that debt and that didn't happen for years as as, as commissioner kenlock is so you know intelligently pointing out investment in this area is only going to help pay down that debt faster and I think that's so important um, to, to recognize whether it is in the area or next to the area, it just helps that area. Uh, and so county taxpayers who are currently paying debt on that debt service from a previous administration's decision can now have that debt be paid down faster because of these kinds of strategic investments. And so sometimes I'm really glad that the commissioner reminded me of that. And, and, and I, I neglected to say it. One last thing I'd like to say is we do have state representative Darren Camilleri on who has been very supportive uh, of the project from the state level and is always looking to help relieve traffic through different legislations like railroads and, and things like that. And I, I think he has a couple of words he'd like to say as well. Sure. Go ahead. Thank you, Madam Chair. And thank you, Khalil and commissioners uh, for having me. Good to see you all. Uh, I think one of the things that 
Khalil just really hit on is that we have come up with many creative strategies to solve our infrastructure problems in Southern Wayne County and in Downriver. And it's through uh, great leadership of the county, partnership with the state, sometimes the feds, and especially in this particular case, it's with locals and our developers. Uh, I think that we are continuing to move and to create a, an economic development environment in Downriver and Southern Wayne County that I think is only going to benefit all of us. So I really just want to urge my support of this project because once we can get some of these key infrastructure projects happening uh, down the road, I'm hopeful to get another you know railroad grade separation in this part of Wayne County as well. We really will be unlocking the region for additional economic development, which is very exciting. These are the first few steps. You know, I hope that you'll be able to pass this project through committee and make this one of those pieces that'll continue to help us prosper. Thank you, Representative. And, and thank you, uh, Commissioner Kinlock, for starting that conversation. I was wondering how you knew all that. You're, you're pretty new on the commission. So that, that's great that you have that memory. So um, anything else before we go to commissioners? Thank you, everyone, for your presentation. Um, do any of the commissioners have questions? I'm looking for hands or you can... Nothing? Oh, everybody explain this very well. Hi, this is, this is Alona. Um, oh, go ahead, Alona. I'm very, I'm very, very excited about this. I have been here for the last 20 years, voted for it originally, and I am so, so glad that um, all of this coming to fruition. And as one who was uh, living in New Boston at the time and was always in Romulus area uh, going through all of those uh, streets and areas. It's very, very exciting for me to go back to my old stomping grounds and see how it's being developed. So I am very excited, very supportive. I can't wait for the next project. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Um, <laughs> Was that you, Commissioner Dobb? Go ahead. Yes, and I apologize if this was um, said and I missed it, but is there a timeline on this project or an estimated timeline? Uh, the, the contractual timeline is a, an initial period of three years uh, with two one-year uh, extension options that are available to the county uh, at the option of the county. So in terms of exactly when the project, when the work will be let, uh, I'm not sure, perhaps somebody from engineering can address that, but, but in terms of the actual contractual uh, length of time, that's what it is. Okay. Does anyone from the county have any input on that? And a mesh engineer. Yeah, sure. Uh, so as soon as the plans are finalized and we, we get it moving, uh, we can let it out uh, as soon as we have the final packet. So it all depends when, when the final packet comes to us and uh, we, we'll keep it moving. So I'm very hopeful that we can bid it out uh, in the next few months and get the construction started. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Sure. Anyone else? Madam yeah. Chair, yeah, sure, just ahead. one quick question. <clears throat> Yes. Okay, I know this is uh, just for discussion, and I know yep. what Neil just uh, mentioned. Um, what are some of the additional actions? What actions um, will be required just for this particular project? Um, uh, Khalil, can you speak to that? What's expected of the commission um, in, in, as part of this, no. uh, this specific project actions? We, um, we do need board approval. Um, and one of the reasons why timing is a factor for us is because, you know, we want to show Home Depot that they can have confidence in our governments that we can move quickly so that they don't get nervous and start looking at other places. And we want to get to a place where, quite frankly, we're celebrating something around here for once. And uh, <laughs> so, so I think, one, um, eventually we'll just need full board approval. I think we can do it, you know, one of two ways. Eventually it can come back to committee and the committee can vote it out. Or um, if you know, generally, depending on how staff feels and commissioners feel, you know, we'll have a discussion with the chairwoman to see how she feels about presenting it as a part of new business at full board, but either works for us, but, you know, the sooner the better. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And, and okay. I, again, I, I think there were a lot of things going on last week, and so our staff would like some more time on this to vet it, and so that's 
we just want to make sure there's a discussion so all the commissioners knew about what was coming down the road. So, so we'll, Madam we'll, Chair. Madam Chair, to yes. that point. Yes, who, who is that? I can't. Felicia. <gasps> oh, Felicia, go ahead. Um, so through the chair, um, to that specific point. So we received this contract, I believe on Friday. And while staff did send out questions and we did get responses back yesterday, we still have additional questions um, regarding some of the um, responses and issues related to the form of contract, some of the documentation provided. Um, we hope to have all of those issues addressed with the department, um, hopefully this week, so that this can move to full board for immediate consideration next week. That's why it's here for discussion now. I'm Great. assuming that we can get everything in order. So the department should expect um, additional follow-up questions momentarily. I'm, I was actually working on them um, as we speak. I'm working on them. Um, and we hope to be able to get those questions and answers resolved. Um, but there are still some outstanding issues as usual with contracts. And again, we hope to get them resolved and hopefully this can move the full board for approval next week. Thank you, Madam Chair, To if you don't mind. No, go ahead. Ma'am, uh, to Felicia, you, um, so I know you, as always, you share with us the questions and the responses and those things there, ha, you know, uh, have you shared those questions or are you gonna wait until you get the responses and, and send them to us as part of the whole packet? Well, commissioners, as usual, will get the um, questions and the analysis after we've had our full Correct. discussions with um, the department. Okay. Um, because, as you know, we tend to resolve several issues, so we don't want to raise those issues with you now um, and have you look at them if we can get them resolved. So we'll do our jobs as staff, hopefully get everything resolved, and then you'll get your final analysis package with the full board agenda Um for Thursday, assuming that again, we work everything out, which I'm confident that we'll be able to do with the department. Yeah, I trust you on that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Madam Chair, I just want to say, I do want to thank Felicia and the staff because they did get it Friday and we received questions over the weekend, which says that the staff was working over the weekend to try to get as much information to you all as possible. And, I, you know, the questions were fair questions. I know we tried to answer them as fast as we could. And I know some of the, an the questions got answered. It's not unusual for us to get more questions in this process. And so I think, I just want to thank them for, for, for doing all that over the weekend. <laughs> Khalil, also, you know, the commission staff tried to really get their um, heads wrapped around potential questions from the commissioners. Um, and so, um, you know, also on your end, you know, to try to th anticipate any potential questions so that we won't have to have any, you know, too much of a back and forth at the, uh, you know, when to get back to the commission. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and thank you to the staff. And we always um, appreciate the staff because they're very thorough with these kind of things. And most of us are not attorneys. Some of us are, but uh, we really appreciate their time. Anything else from the committee? Oh, Joey, uh, go ahead, Commissioner Palomara. Thank you, Madam Chair. As somebody who goes way back with this project, the original co-chair of the Aerotropolis Task Force and then served for many years on the Aerotropolis Executive Board, I'm extremely optimistic that everyone will do their job and that this will be uh, on the agenda in the very near future and I look forward to supporting it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's fair to, Madam the Chair, it's fair yeah. to make you uh, this project will enhance the infrastructure of the area. Uh, because, you know, Mrs. Watt been dealing with those issues, uh, road, uh, uh, drain, uh, too many services, uh, important services we provide to the area. And uh, Mrs. Watts' leadership for this type of a project, it's been strong, very supportive to the area. And uh, I'm very optimistic uh, in her leadership, this project would move according to what you heard today. Uh, hopefully in the three years, we will not need the extra additional two years. Uh, if everything go well uh, next week with the commission, uh, I want to uh, thank you for bring it up and move it on the agenda today. And uh, hopefully, like I mentioned, it's not one project for District 11. It's would have effect uh, in the county's economic environment, especially the two airport too, that would uh, really bring uh, a ripple effect on many different areas in the region. 
So thank you. Sure. Um, <laughs> I wasn't on the commission when uh, Pinnacle closed. And I re remember being really disappointed because I liked going over there once in a while, seeing all the horses. But this is a great, great um, replacement for that, that area. And I think it's really, really going to be beneficial to the whole county, like you've all said. Um, so if there's nothing, else, I don't see any other commissioners. Is there anything else, Kalel? No, Madam Chair, I just want to thank you all. No, I just, we want to thank you for your patience with us. M Madam oh. Chair, I have one question. You mentioned a little bit earlier, there's only discussion, there are no recommendation going from this committee. Uh, we usually do recommendation. Why uh, not having any recommendation today? Um, part of it is because, yeah, part of it is because the staff still has questions on this. And we didn't want to hold it up for discussion. So hopefully, um, if all the answer, answers are given to the commission staff, maybe we can move this to full board um, as new business at our next full board meeting. We just wanted to make sure this commission's uh, um, committee heard, heard about this, and then we could move it to full board uh, for a discussion with the rest of the commission. I know in the past, the president and said, if we have condition of that type, we could make the motion based on the satisfying the answer to the staff, uh, move for recommendation. Commissioner, uh, if I yes, may. Go ahead. Yes, if I may. So oh, the sorry. contract is actually not before the committee. Because staff did not have an opportunity to complete its review, we literally got it Friday. Um, it's not before you, so it's not on your agenda for approval. In the past, if we reviewed it, we may put it on the agenda, and then you perhaps, if there's something that comes up, you can move it contingent upon. In this instance, we are still in the middle of our initial review. The contract is not on the agenda, so you can't make a motion today. But again, Chairwoman wanted it to be before you for discussion so that everyone was aware of it with hopes that we get the review done and have it ready for full board next week. We appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Well, I don't see any more hands up. Thank you, everyone, for coming and explaining all this to the committee. We really appreciate it. And I think from the uh, sounds of it, everybody's pretty excited about this. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, Madam Clerk. Um, let's go back to that. Okay, I did get a text. Let's go back to the regular agenda. Can you see it on your screen? Yeah, I can see it. And, and is it okay if we, I know this is on the agenda. No, um, can we no, just skip? The related item is on the agenda. There are actually two separate items, Chair. The related okay. item is on the agenda. Oh, okay, because this is for the um, for the park millage and then the other. Okay, all right. So can we do this one first and then go to the agenda? Is that what you were indicating? Yes, Madam I Chair. think... Go, I'm sorry, <laughs> go ahead, Michelle. I'm sorry, this is Michelle Yancey, DPS <laughs> admin. How are you, Madam Chair? Um, <laughs> If we Sorry about go, the confusion, okay. No problem. If we can go to the agenda item first to do the quick okay. claim deed, then do the IGA, that would be in suits of what the, uh, how the process should go. Okay, great, thank you. All right, Madam Clerk, let's go to the agenda then for number 12. Item 12, requesting commission approval of a quick claim deed with the city of Westland. Okay, um, Michelle, do you wanna go ahead with that? Yes, Madam Chair, we have Patricia Moore, our Corp Counsel, that can address this issue for you. Okay, great, thank you. And thanks for all the information we got from staff and from anyone else, it was a very interesting read. <laughs> but go ahead. Hello, this is Patricia Moore, Assistant Wayne County Corporation Counsel. And this is a quick claim deed to convey JC Park to the city of Westland. Um, this deal was, it was negotiated and approved in 1966. Um, more specifically, it was memorialized in a memorandum to the Board of Road Commissioners at that time, February 7, 1966. And after a 
10-year lease and certain improvements having been made, it, the property was to have been conveyed uh, to the city of Westland. Uh, then it was Nankin Township, but the city of Westland. Um, and after confirmation that those items had occurred, um, it was then discovered recently in connection with a park millage allocation for JC Park uh, through an IGA that the property was still owned by Wayne County that through an oversight, uh, the property had never been um, conveyed. The conveyance documents had never been um, drafted and recorded. So that is where we are today um, to request that the uh, quick claim deed be approved and the property uh, officially conveyed to the city of Westland and in connection with that to continue with the park millage allocations uh, to JC Park. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Councilor Johnson, do you wanna, do you wanna add anything to this? Through the chair, um, I think my primary comment um, is to request that in the future, so this item was significantly delayed. I, I can't recall when the commission received it. It's possible that we received it in November. Um, but it was significantly delayed because of the lack of information that was initially provided. I mean, the initial request was simply convey a park to the city of Westland for a dollar. Well, obviously that it gave us no detail, no history, no anything. Um, and it took a lot to, to get the, the basic information. So the main um, request or comment is that in the future with these type of items that the department can provide the full initial background and information up front we probably would have saved at least a month of going back and forth um, with, with this particular item. Um, with the item is specifically, I mean, there is no contract document. There is some minutes from the road commission from the 60s that support the deal. Um, we did have some concerns related to information required under the disposition of property ordinance. Corporation Council took the position that that ordinance is not applicable. Um, however, because they're requesting the transaction to actually occur today, they're requesting a current approval to dispose of and transfer this property in current day times from this body. I believe that the ordinance is actually applicable, but to avoid a further delay of this item, I simply asked the 14 questions required under the ordinance and they provided the response um, as opposed to going back and forth regarding the applicability of the ordinance. So we ultimately did get the information. I think that the questions have been answered um, and therefore I don't have, I don't believe I have any further concerns re regarding this matter. Again, the main comment is that in the future, just please initially provide all of the information to provide us a full picture of what's happening to avoid any unnecessary delays. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yeah, thank you for that. And thank you for all the work you've done on this because it was, it's, it was quite uh, detailed. Um, and so my understanding is that this park has had $80,000 in park millage money given to it um, during these years. And what the city of Westland actually thought this was their park all this time, correct? That's correct. Okay. Or Assistant Wayne County Corporation Council. Yes, that is correct. Party and, and Westland actually put in some of their own money through this time, or has it just been upgraded um, with park millage money? I believe, but I think there there is someone for the from the department that is here to speak, um, and he, he may be better able to respond to that. Um, okay. Is there but, a name? David Cartwright, but I can just say generally. Oh, David. Okay. Yeah, and I can just say generally the park millage funds are for you know reimbursement of portions, but not necessarily the full amount of cost of right. Um, right. Um, Mr. Cartwright, Chair, if I may, Madam yes, Chair, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Beverly, Director of VPS. A couple things. First of all, uh, I do want to thank your staff and everyone on this particular issue. This was a very unique issue, especially when you're going back to records, going back to the 60s, and some of the information could not have been uh, retained. But absolutely, I do agree. Um, you know, we're speaking with, I've spoken already, you know, with Corp Council and our department. Uh, when we're putting forth information such as this, when you're looking for historical information to make sure we can provide the information that we have at hand and explain the information you do not in the interest to save time. Uh, as you know, uh, Alicia Bradford is, is off. What we'll do 
uh, is try to go back and answer that question and get the information and see during this time, especially during the inception of the millage going back to 1996 or 97 for the millage. And we'll see if Westland has provided any funding in addition to any funding that was allocated through the millage. So we can get that information back to you. Oh, okay, that'd be great. Thank you. I, I thought I saw a reference for, for that, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Yeah, um, we'll have our finance, DPS finance team, just try to go back okay. to the records and see if uh, Westland any, put any money uh, toward any matching funds or anything for this particular park since the inception of the millage. Okay, that would be helpful because this will be a discussion at full board, so that will be okay. helpful. Um, and commissioners, why don't we take, well, we'll take questions for this, but we'll take this this item, and then we'll go back to the agenda for number one item and take those together for any recommendation. Okay, Commissioner Baydoun. Yeah, I, I just have a quick question. Um, obviously, somehow it was overlooked back in the 60s from this property being conveyed to the city of Westland. I'm just curious, my real estate mind is working. <laughs> is it possible that there are other parcels owned by the county that should have been deeded to neighboring cities in Wayne County that we don't know about, or is that going to come up every time, uh, you know, there's a project with a particular park and, and that's the only way we can find out if that property is, uh, is conveyed uh, to the, uh, to the proper city. I don't know who can answer this question, but I'm just thinking here, you know, is, it, is, it, is this the only parcel of land that should have been deeded to a particular city in, in Wayne County? Is it possible to find out if there are other parcels that are just sitting there uh, owned by Wayne County, but they should have been deeded to other cities? Good question. <laughs> Can anyone answer that? Hi, Madam Chair. Uh, I'm not going to speak for Corporate Corporation Council. I'll let uh, Ms. Moore speak for that, but I can speak to that. The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, there's a possibility when you're dealing with a, a road commission that was established back then and you're dealing with some of the records that, you know, we don't know how they were filed, how they were kept. Uh, over the years, there's times when DPS has learned of property that is owned by the county that maybe the paperwork at the time that the uh, Chartup County was established, maybe the paperwork, you know, was not set forth and filed. A good example, years ago when I was the parks director, I learned that we owned a park in Hamtramck. And so we had to convey that. And that didn't come along until Hamtramck wanted to uh, possibly do something with that park that was now known as the Negro Park, you know, for the baseball players. So you're absolutely right, Commissioner. Um, I would say this probably is a possibility. How many? Um, I don't know. Maybe zero, maybe some. Um, hopefully there will be a way that we all can, you know, maybe talking with court counsel, some of our real estate individuals, historians, you know, back when this was a road commission, we can come up and see if there's a way to find out if there's any outstanding properties back there. How do you find that out and go through the records? And that's definitely a discussion. Uh, I'm willing to, you know, start with other executive levels here in the county to find out if there's such a way. But to go back to answer your question, there probably is a possibility. Not okay. sure if it's exact, but yes. Sorry, right, Madam Chair, I uh, recommend moving item number 12 to the full board for consideration. Okay, and we're going to go back um, to item one and put these two together, if you, don't, if you don't mind. No, not at all. I will also recommend moving item number one to the full board for consideration as well. Okay. Any other questions before we flip back over to the agenda from the uh, commissioners? Okay. I, well, I want to make sure I miss all these hands on my computer here, or on my iPad. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. And um, Madam Clerk, we'll flip back over to unfinished business item number one. Item one, under unfinished business, requesting commission approval of an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Westland. Okay. This is for the uh, commissioner's park millage allocation. Is there any questions on this? Okay, then um, we are moving that under Commissioner Baydoun's um, recommendation to move these to full board, number one and 12. All right, next item, Madam Clerk. So was it item D1 or are you just taking it, the entire- D1. No, no, D1, D1 and, and um, 12 on the agenda. Yeah, on the agenda, yeah. 
Okay, because E1 is allocations is E1. Thank you, Commissioner. No, what, wait, say, say that again, Pam. I thought I heard you mention parks millage allocations and that's E1. Okay, it's D1 on our agenda. But yeah, you had written me, <laughs> I'm a little confused. It's E1 under, it's, un, it's under unfinished business on this agenda. Yes, D1, D1. D1, right. Item. Yep, okay. yep, yes. that's right. Okay, so Madam Clerk, let's go to new business. And we'll take the next, um, oh, the, all the next items um, together at the end for a recommendation of full board. So let's just talk about each one then. Madam Clerk, number one. Madam Chair, I'm sorry for interrupting. Oh. Were, okay. you, were you intending to vote on D1 in item 12 now, or were you going to take one vote at the end for everything? Because you just had a motion for these motion two items. The floor. Oh, oh, but I you know it was just a recommendation to move to full to recommendation to move to full board. Don't we still vote on it? Yes. So I was just wondering if you were going to do one big vote at the end, or were you intending to take a separate vote for these two? No, let's just do one vote at the end. Okay. So, but there's a motion on the floor. So how do we handle that? Um, I think I can change it, right, Felicia? I can just say we'll do this at the end. Right, we'll go. I will remove the motion uh, okay. for recommendation of item right. 12 and one from. Okay, Gold. thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. All right, let's move on to um, item E1 then. Item one and our new business communication from the Department of Public Services. Okay, this is uh, budget instructions for park millage allocations and the capital millage capital plan. Any questions of this from commissioners? I don't see any. Okay, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, next item. Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk. Item two, communication from Capital Development and Buildings Administration Division, <laughs> Department of Economic Development, reporting notification of an emergency procurement report. You, you can't hear me? Uh, you're very distorted. And now we can't hear you. At least oh, I can. Can you hear me, Commissioner? Yes. Okay, so item number two is from Daryl Jones from the Department of Economic Development for any notification of an emergency procurement report for a purchase order with Brindo Septic Tank Service. Yes, thank you. This is for two portable restrooms. This is, it was an emergency procurement um, and this was for the restrooms why the building was being repaired. Any questions on this? And this will be a receive and file. Okay, I don't see anyone, next item. Item number three is requesting commission approval of amendment number one to a cooperative agreement between the Charter County of Wayne and Feltman Ford with no change in the dollar amount through my deal to extend the term of the agreement. Um, you know what, excuse me for one second. Back on number two, I just looked at my notes. Um, this was not, there was no contract on that. And can someone tell me why there wasn't a contract on this? Madam Clerk, you're, you're referring to the emergency, the number yes. two? Yes. Oh, Lord. I believe it should have been necessarily a, you, you, I'm sorry, the question, I'm a little confused. You meant a, a current contract or emergency PO that we never- Yeah, yeah, there was no contract with the whole, the whole thing. Um, every, a lot of times when we have these, they mm -hmm. make, they make it go out to the file, to the fiscal year. Yeah. Um, so there was nothing done with this. Right. And, okay. Well, the research, I'm sorry, the research was based on is that we were looking for a vendor or a contract in order to do the service. And we, uh, it, it, it ended up trickling down to maybe one uh, vendor 
that was able to perform the service. And it was basically to tie into the new subsystem that's under the ground. It's, it's underground work that we need to do for the sewer system. And we had to find an individual to be able to do that. The vendor was picked out of four or five uh, vendors that we were trying to vet in order to get the job. No one else would respond to it. And that's how we end up with this company to do the emergency shutoff. All right. There's so Madam else. Chair. Yes, go ahead. Um, so through the through the chair, this is Felicia. So um, this is some of the same typical concerns we've expressed with regards to emergency yeah. procurements over the last, I guess, year and a half, two years. Um, because there were services, there should have been a contract document. Um, again, we've raised this issue before. Procurement and, and the administration has agreed. It's not clear why um, it wasn't done in this instance. Um, with regards to the date, the date is an issue for the procurement division. And the fact that they have the standard thing where they make the mm -hmm. date the end of the fiscal year. Again, we've been told by the administration that they shouldn't do that. Janelle made it very clear that emergency procurement should be for um, the time period for the emergency. And then they'll come back if they need an extended time. Again, it's not clear why those protocols weren't followed in this instance. And I think you may have another on this agenda or another committee the similar. But it's the same concerns that we've expressed in the past that the administration has indicated shouldn't occur. Um, okay. And, and they okay. occur in this instance. And, and Felicia, if I can do a little bit more research to give you more detail of the reason why not, that may, may not be able to do it at this moment. But I'll research it and give it an answer from that point. Okay, that would be helpful if, if we knew it too, if this goes on to full board, just in case that question comes up. Thank you. Okay, sorry, Pam, next item, number three. Item number three is requesting commission approval of amendment number one to a cooperative agreement between the Charter County of Wayne and Feldman Ford with no change in dollar amount through my deal to extend the term of the agreement to allow time for completion and delivery of vehicle. Okay, these are, uh, this delay is secondary to chip um, shortages. And that's why this is being extended. Any questions on this? Don't see any hands. Okay, next item. Item number four is requesting commission approval of an intergovernmental agreement between the Charter County of Wayne and the City of Dearborn not to exceed $2,048,200 for hot mixed asphalt and coal milling and resurfacing work along West Ida Drive. Okay, and this is with the City of Dearborn and who they're going to contribute $210,000 to this project as well. Any questions on this? Okay, all right, next item. Item number five is requesting commission approval of an intergovernmental agreement between the Charter County of Wayne and the City of Ecorse in the estimated amount of $2,452,950 for road improvements along Southfield Road from the Ecorse city limit to West Jefferson Avenue. Okay, we approved this contract with them that back in August with this. Any questions on this? All right, seeing none. Next item, please. Item number six is requesting commission approval of a two-year contract with a one-year option to renew between the Charter County of Wayne and Start All Enterprises, not to exceed $200,000 for the purchase of various automotive batteries for the Department of Public Services. All right, pretty, pretty explanatory. Any questions on this? Next item. Item number seven is requesting commission approval of a three-year purchase order terms and conditions contract with one two-year option to renew between the Charter County of Wayne and Tri-County International Trucks, not to exceed $4,500,000 to provide original equipment manufactured parts and repairs for Navistar International Equipment Products. Okay, questions on this one? big chunk of change, but it's for all these uh, manufactured part, parts and repairs. Okay, next item. Item number eight is requesting commission approval of a two-year contract with a one-year option to renew between the Charter County of Wayne and 10 Mile Creek excavating, not to exceed $5,996,194 for pavement removal. Okay, I, I do have a question on this, if there's someone here. 
Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hi, Steve. Good morning. Is this just for pavement removal or different different sections of the roads? Um, um, go ahead. So, uh, Commissioner, um, 10 Mile Creek is our contractor who does all our milling. So basically, prior to us doing any resurfacing, we usually have this 10 Mile Creek company who comes in and mills existing pavement. So hmm. Our road so we can go ahead and start resurfacing. I see. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Um, yes. Commissioner Dobb, did you have your hand up? I did, but my question was the same as yours, so I'm off. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, Steve. That makes sense. Any more questions on this? Okay, Madam Clerk, next item. Item number nine is requesting commission approval of a three-year purchase order terms and conditions contract between the Charter County of Wayne and Cadillac Asphalt not to exceed $2,697,000 for coal patch mixture delivery to various job locations. Okay, questions on this one? All right. Next item. Item number 10 is requesting commission approval of a three-year professional engineering services contract with a one-year option to renew between the Charter County of Wayne and Wade Trim Associates, not to exceed $380,865.85 for professional engineering design services to reconstruct the industrial road bridge over Dix Avenue in the city of Dearborn. Thank you. This is a um, this is for engineering services. Boy, a lot of a lot of road work on this agenda. This is great. Any questions on this? Yes, Madam Chair. Yep, go ahead. Thank you. Um, in our packet, there was a uh, a note that it says the RFP number. Um, it looks like the RFP number was um, typed in wrong, maybe in one place. I was just wondering if that was um, was resolved or if it's not um, an issue. That was from our staff that had noted. That. Yeah, it says um, what the question was. What is the RFP number for this contract? And um, yes. the staff note is says it matches this number in three out of four places on the procurement memo. So I, it sounds to me like maybe the, um, the one place, maybe it didn't match. And I don't know if that's a big deal or not. Needs to be corrected. Um, yeah. Anybody from staff that? I think we the... determined that that was insignificant, Commissioner. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Also, Madam Chair, Michelle Yancey, that was corrected and revised and included. <clears throat> Great. Yeah. Thank you. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Great. Any other questions on this? Okay, next item, please. Item number 11 is requesting commission approval of a three year contract between the Charter County of Wayne and Z contractors, not to exceed $1,695,593.52 for the repair of the bascule pier of the Dix Avenue and Jefferson Avenue bascule bridges. Any questions on this? Uh, Commissioner Dunn. Sorry, I just forgot to put my hand down. Oh, okay. Any questions? Okay, next item, Madam Clerk. Oh, we'll, we'll move over to the um, agenda. Oh, thank you, it's already up. So to number 13 then. Item number 13 is requesting commission approval of amendment number two to a contract with a one year option to renew between the Charter County of Wayne and Baker and Associates, not to exceed $416,858.86, extending the term of the contract to amend the scope of services for the rehabilitation of the five mile road bridge over the upper Rouge River between Telegraph and Losser in the city of Detroit. Okay, and this is going from a deck replacement to a superstructure replacement, upgrading it. Any questions on this? Okay. So, Madam Chair, I yes. will recommend uh, moving items one, one through uh, 11 on the agenda for full board for consideration, as well as items 
12 and 13 on the agenda for full board for consideration. Okay. Support. 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 Okay. Great. Uh, thank you. Um, any questions before we vote? Okay. Uh, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Barga? Yes. Commissioner Palomero? Yes. Commissioner Kenlock? Yes. Commissioner Hattis? Yes. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes, yes. Vice Chair Daub? Yes. Chair Marecki? Yes. Motion carries. Motion carries. Next item. Such other matters as may be properly submitted before the committee. I haven't heard any, anything from commissioners. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Joey, oh, yeah. I love the background. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Next item. Public comments. Okay. Uh, Madam Clerk, can you unmute everyone? The lines are unmuted. Okay. Is there anyone from the public that would like to address the Committee on Public Services? Either through your phone or your iPad, I don't see, or your computer, I don't see anybody, but go ahead. Anyone from the public would like to address us? Madam Clerk, do we have any emails? No emails have been received. Okay, one more time. Anyone from the public that would like to address the Committee on Public Services? All right, hearing none, seeing none, next item. Madam Chair, I'm yes. not sure when Commissioner uh, Beidou made the motion if he included item D1. So just to make sure that all items are included, Yes, yes I did. All items on the agenda and all items on the agenda. Recommend okay. moving all of the items for approval at full board. Felicia, is that good? Felicia? And the, and the information items to be received and filed. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So moving on to adjournment yes okay What's the all right we have a approval and a support i believe all those in favor say aye aye aye, aye. aye. thank you everyone come on over to ways and means yeah we'll be right there we'll be right, right there, there. <laughs>